This is Jonathan Cress from the School of Mathematics and Statistics and I'm going to show you a little bit about the student lab desktop for the Linux machines in the Red Center Labs. So first of all this is a login screen and I'm going to log in using my lab password that you need to have already set. Okay so we're logged in here, it's a KDE interface you may not have uh, seen this before, but it should be fairly familiar from other computers, the types of things you would do. So first of all there's the desktop where everything happens, and down the bottom you have some buttons that lead you to programs. On the left is a menu that uh, you can select various different things from. And then the next thing across is your um, home directory where you can store files. This is the same on any computer you log into in the lab. It's on the network drive and uh, if you log out and log back in again all your files will still be there so you should be able to use this just like you would any other on any other computer dragging files in and out of here. The next thing across is a web browser called Iceweasel. This is the same as Firefox basically and uh, we recommend that you use this browser when you're using things like uh, My eLearning Vista because we have tested it with that. So let's close that again. The next icon across is Conqueror, another web browser that you can also use, and then uh, a quick quick link to My eLearning Vista. And some other things, Mail, and the first year computing notes. These notes here, there's several different things, the lab notes, the first year Maple notes, some MATLAB notes, and these are all available uh, on the school's website as well. Uh, the next thing you probably might like to use would be the open office writer and spreadsheet and then the mathematics programs you're likely to be using MATLAB for Math 1151 and 1251 and Maple for most of the other first year courses and I'll just mention one other thing here that is the uh, different desktops these are um, I'll just open a window on this desktop and then switch to another one so you can see what happens. So the window I opened is on the first desktop and I've moved to the second desktop where I could now open something else like a web browser. You don't need to use this but in case you accidentally click on one of these other places you might wonder where your windows have gone. Well, I'll just go back to desktop one now where the first window I opened is. Just to the right of that is a list of the windows you have open. You can use these to find something, a window that might be minimized or behind other windows. And then over on the right, the far right, is a little clock with a calendar and importantly a log out button. You should always log out when you're finished in the lab. So I'll stop there and log out.